plagiarism. Um, this is one of the reasons that you all had to come today because I needed to make like a general statement about plagiarism that everyone gets. So read the thing at the top, right? That's plagiarism. Uh, this might even be plagiarized itself. I have no idea where I got this from. <laughs> but um, uh, There's a very important point here that is underlined. So basically, whenever you're quoting someone or paraphrasing someone, I'll get to that later, without giving them credit, that's a significant problem. Um, and also, this would include paying someone to write a paper or having people write sections of your paper. Um, that's, uh, that's not just an ethical offense. This stuff can also be a legal offense. So uh, the only way to avoid this, the best way to avoid this, is to cite your sources. And again, you might trick some people, um, but um, uh, I, I'm gonna, I tend to pay attention because I like doing academic work. So if you're, if you're gonna plagiarize, put a lot of effort into it. And we, we can talk about how, actually, to be fair. <laughs> but uh, don't be lazy if you're gonna do it. Don't do it in general, it's bad. But if you are, there are people watching. Um, Big Brother is watching. So what do you need to cite? Everything that you use. Um, books, magazines, newspaper, op-eds, articles, films, TV stuff, YouTube commentaries, uh, support Lindsay Ellis's work, hashtag. Um, blogs, podcasts, emails, encyclopedias, f personal communication, we'll discuss that later. Cite everything, whenever it's not your idea, and as a general rule, whenever you make a statement that is not common knowledge, um, you need to cite it. It may, be, it may be evident to you, and you may be like, wait a minute, how do I know that? You have to cite it from somewhere, if it's not, if it's not common knowledge. Um, this is, again, why scientific writing is full of citations. It can get tedious to read. Um, right, so before I talk about how to cite things, all the different ways, what about paraphrasing stuff? What, what, like, that's fine, right? So, uh, got this, got this example. So, um, the original citation. This suggests that a majority of Star Trek, the original series fans, were disappointed by the 2009 J.J. Abrams soft reboot of the series. This is fake. This is just my opinion, right? But this is a fake citation. But let's just pretend like it's not. Um, uh, so, uh, here I have, these are the APA, uh, guidelines. Um, we'll discuss, am I going to discuss that more? All right, well, uh, if, if I discuss it later, we'll just avoid it. You want the author or authors. This is all laid out extensively in the guideline that I'm going to put online. And, um, you come to my office, I'll share the book with you and we can look at citation practices. You can also just look up APA on the internet and get all of the citation practices, but... Very generally speaking, we want the name of the author, uh, comma, year, colon, oh, see, I miss, I did it wrong here. Yeah, you're supposed to put P here, P period for page, or PP period if it's multiple pages. Um, honest, honest to God, the P thing is tedious, and uh, a lot of people leave it out. I leave it out in my work, even though I use APA guidelines. Okay, but back to, back to, the, back to the topic at hand. So original citation, why do you think this is unacceptable? This one here. We're not mentioning the name. Um, exactly, yeah, yeah, that's the major thing. We're, I'm presenting this like it's my knowledge, right? And if someone says, well, you've plagiarized this directly from Bloomer and Whip, I would say, no, I didn't plagiarize. Look, I said a lot, not a majority. And I said, dissatisfied, not disappointed. I'm not plagiarizing. Yeah, this is plagiarism, right? You're copying the structure of a sentence and taking the main ideas, but swapping out one or two words. Even though it's not a direct quotation, it's still plagiarized. Um, there are a lot of ways to avoid this. Like if you're taking notes, don't copy directly by hand. And if you're copying directly by hand when you're taking handwritten notes, write down the page number so you remember that it's not your idea because this can happen by accident, honestly, and it, it does, you know, half the time. Um, this is acceptable. So usually when you're paraphrasing, it's built into larger statements. So according to Bloomer and Whip, cited, market research conducted the, uh, following the release of Star Trek suggests that many SD Star Trek original series fans were disappointed by the J.J. Abrams adaptation of the series. It's cited, I've expanded it, I've included my own language, I've read myself into it. Now, 
why would you, if you can just quote, if you can just do quotations, why would you paraphrase? This is also about readerly writing. If it's sentence, quote, sentence, quote, sentence, quote, it's like, oh, God, it's so hard to read. Like, it gets exhausting. You can include paraphrasing. You can, uh, you can make it nice to read. Um, so this, this breaks it up, right? After this, I could have a, a quotation from Bloomer and Whip that expands upon this remark. And actually, I'm not even inserting my own thoughts in there. I'm just using Bloomer and Whip, but it makes it look like actually I'm doing much more work than I am. <laughs>